Okay. Oh, the weekend's TV show. Oh, yeah. I saw people getting upset at a fictional show with fictional characters because we are babies. We have baby brains, and uh, that's what a baby would do, and that's exactly what babies are doing on Twitter. I don't care if the show's terrible, but someone literally was like, oh, yeah, like, the weekend should be canceled for this. Like, it's really fucked up that the weekend's... Uh, a character in the show is like a bad guy. I haven't even seen the fucking show. Just don't watch the show. So it looks more and more like Cy Hirsch got this completely wrong or alternatively a bunch of different outlets on two different uh, continents all got it com totally wrong and Hirsch's single source was correct. Um, the Twitter discourse surrounding it is so stupid. Okay. I want to explain something to you guys. Okay. I want to explain something to you guys. Are you ready for this? TV shows that are fictional are fictional. They're not real people. It's just content. It's supposed to resemble real people. Okay, and in the real world, sometimes people are bad. Sometimes people are good, but other times people are bad. I haven't even seen the show. I might not even actually watch the show. But having said this is your worst take. <laughs> yeah, I know. But if you are legitimately getting upset at the bad show for having a bad character. I don't know what to tell you. The things that I saw on Twitter revolved around people being like, The Weeknd's character is such a gross freak. Like, he should be canceled for the things that he's saying. And it's like, okay, that's not The Weeknd, the human. That is The Weeknd playing a role. I don't know if you guys know this, but... Brian Cranston never actually made meth. This might come as a surprise to some of you, but that wasn't real. That's right. What is this? Okay, they're talking about fictional characters. Fictional characters. Am I, am I getting through to you at all? Okay, they're talking about fictional characters. You're such a boomer for this reference, for the record. I don't know if you can prove that. It's like, we have actually, The Weeknd got the original female showrunner fired in the real world because she made the show from a female point of view. Don't care. I don't. I don't care. Okay? Okay. That's not what I'm talking about anyway. Absolutely zero people were talking about that. Every single fucking popping ass viral tweet I saw about this show was literally surrounding the weekend's behavior, his character's behavior in the show. Okay? Good luck defending this, bro. Yeah, this is it. This is the, this is the thing I saw on Twitter. Okay. This is cringe. It's weird. You don't have to watch it. Why are you getting upset? Why are you willingly clicking on the HBO Max application, watching the show only to get upset about the show? It's very strange. It's a weird thing. It's like, like this is not a real person. This is a fictional character saying weird shit okay like it's like of getting upset at white lotus for every single person being a gigantic piece of shit in the show like that's what it's supposed to be it's a show what the fuck i also forgot to tell you that at the top of the hour there's a three-minute ad break or i did but i forgot to run the ad break which i'm running now
Media literacy is dead. You didn't get a bad rap because it wasn't the director's fantasy. People who hate The weekend are ableist. That's funny. This was like getting mad at Leonardo DiCaprio and Django. Yes. It's like every other week when people are... It's like every other week when uh, people get... Not even real people, but like... I can see how it's being triggered for some victims of sexual assault. Stop that. Stop doing that. Stop trying to fucking add additional layers to this. That is fucking insane. Okay? What are you saying? Here, let me see the fucking clip. I want to see this clip. I want to see how fucking cringe this is. Can I even watch? <laughs> this is so stupid. Reddit is down, so Twitter's being a little extra neurodivergent. No, first of all, first of all, first of all, first of all, Twitter has always been like this. Okay? Twitter has always been like this. This is not new. Twitter has especially been like this since Tumblr erased porn from its libraries and therefore every tumblr person lost their fucking minds and like got on twitter and said all the twitter shit everyone fabricating outrage or being very catholic but also lying that they even watch the show they watch twitter videos voluntarily which is also self-harm i really need you to break this one down man everyone's accusing the director of being a creep of uh slash piece of shit in the real life out of nothing else other than some cringe scene with kinks am i wrong here for defending him here i don't even know anything about the director okay directors might actually be creepy some of them are okay i don't know if this one is but if the director is creepy then the director is creepy you don't have to get mad at a fictional character or the weekend portraying a fictional character you're right i can't believe i'm saying this young peasy is 100 correct victims of murder might get triggered by rambo slash john wick it's like, sorry, you can't make the pianist because some people survived the Holocaust and it was truly traumatic for them. Like, what the fuck are we doing? What is happening? What is happening? That is insane, okay? I saw a viral post where someone was getting really mad at the weekend for playing a freaky sex guy in the new show he's in. I love how stupid everyone's getting. Soon there will be posts that are like, anyone else think that others can't see you when you close your eyes? Fire emoji. <laughs> Dude, it literally is like that. It is. It's so, what is, what's going on? Dude, there's enough real shit going on in the world, man. What are we doing? What are we doing? What is going on? My man ain't even watched the show. I didn't. You know why? Because when a show is shitty, when a show is shitty, I just don't watch it. That's it. Like, that's the point. Like, if, if something is like, eh, that's not for me. Okay, I'm not going to watch it. I'm not going to get mad at the weekend for playing the fictional character who's like a weird sex pest or whatever. I don't know. I don't... This is like something that I will not see eye to eye with a big chunk of my audience on ever, I think. Oh... But I feel like this is a continuation of thinking that ice trolls are real, okay? And it's a continuation of looking at the mirror and saying, what is the magic behind the mirror? Why can the mirror see what's behind the piece of paper, mirror man?
This is fan Stan fandoms getting into TV shows, nothing more, nothing less. They have always been dumb, but now they're in the specific space. That's mostly it. Mads Mikkelsen plays a Nazi in the new Indiana Jones movie. Very problematic, shaking my head. I just don't know. People are still going missing near those mountains, by the way. No, they're not. What are you saying? Are you actually in here advocating that there are ice trolls on those mountains? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Stop. Stop. Like, we can't have fun. I can't have fun. I can't. I can't have fun anymore. I can't. Oh, we are regressing. We are literally regressing. As a society, we are regressing. What is happening? Oh, my God. We're literally like... <laughs> we are so close to just starting to sink women again with, like, big rocks because we suspect them of witchcraft. That's where we're at. This is where we're going. We're going there. That's where we're going. Motherfuckers be like, ice trolls are real, dog. What the fuck? Shut up. People are being, people are going missing in those mountains. <laughs> ah! What is happening? Oh my God. This is like one of those spaces online. This community is one of these places online where we used to be able to get together and make jokes. Yeah, Brian Cranston. Dude, you joke, but I actually saw someone getting mad that Brian Cranston sexually assaulted his wife. I'm not even kidding. Like, not, not Brian Cranston. Walter White did. Sorry. Now I'm doing it. No, I saw that too. I saw that recently. Someone was literally upset. Oh, God. Man didn't watch this traumatizing cringe show. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm shaming you not at cringing at the show. I'm shaming people who are, like, taking it far too seriously and saying, like, The weekend's got to get canceled for this. You know exactly the tweet I'm talking about, and I don't actually want to pull it up because, like, I don't want to get canceled by the fucking weird fem cells again. Okay. Everyone with Amber Heard in their Twitter profiles are going to fucking yell at me and say I'm a child rapist again. So I don't want to pull the tweet up, but you know, the tweet I'm talking about because I read it and I thought long and hard about whether I should say something about this. And I was like, it's not worth the ha-has because they're going to keep saying that I, I am a raper of children. Because that's what they do. They're fucking insane. They literally go, oh, you don't agree with me? Well, you must be a child rapist. And then the Nazis get on board and they're like, yeah, you're right. He is a rapist of children. And it's like, and then the transphobes get in and they're like, remember when he was defending trans people? That's because he's a pedophile. That's what discourse is on Twitter. That's what the fucking, that's what discourse is always on Twitter. It's crazy. I feel like people don't understand how much they love to hate you on Twitter. Yeah. Oh. It is exactly what the Republican Party is trying to do to all queer people right now. So you're in good company. Yeah, but like that's real. That's like actually happening. The Republican Party is doing that. And the Republican fandom is doing that. Meanwhile, Stan Twitter is too busy fucking dish, like getting mad at this shit. Anyway, fucking nuts. I saw another guy 
literally using a fucking clip chimp from a transphobic content creator being like, some of y'all finally found out that Hassan is transphobic. And I was just thinking like, like what a weird thing. Like who, who believes this? <laughs> like maybe like eight trans people will believe this and it's fine. But like who, who, who would ever believe that? <laughs> like I get called a pedophile daily for defending trans people. What do you mean? Ay, ay, ay. People are dogpiling on a rad lib way, but it's different from just having bad characters and things. They rewrote the whole show because it was too female focused and fetishized trauma, which to me makes it funny. I really think you should watch a video on it because in between your take and the Twitter, because in between your take and the, the rad libs. No, if there's like reworking going on on the, on the background uh, of like the development of the show, that is entirely different than like getting mad at motherfucking weekend. <laughs> And the character that he is uh, engaging in, like the, the, the character that he's portraying. Anyway. For those of you who want morally correct shows, that's not how that works. And it's not going to happen. And it's also ridiculous. Okay, Final Fantasy 16 demo maybe. I'm probably going to play it tomorrow. Weekend is the creator and the writer of the show. Did you do you not get the difference? Okay, I'm going to I'm going to repeat something here. Okay, I'm going to repeat something here. Even if the Weekend is the writer and the creator and the actor and the sole contributor, it is a fictional work. I'm going to repeat something to you, okay? I need you to understand this. And this is like at the heart of the matter here that many people are not seeing. It is fiction. It's not real. The things that you see on the television are fake. The things that you watch on the TV are not real. Maybe on the iPad. That's where I, I feel like this is the iPad generation and its consequences have been devastating. But that's... But that's not real. You're not fighting a real battle. You're not fighting a real person. You are in some ways no different than like a child who thinks that because Superman was able to fly, you can fly too. But it's even lamer because at least when you're a kid, you're like a child and you have an overactive imagination. Now you're an adult. Now you're an adult looking at a fictional show that someone wrote and going, this is really frustrating to me because, you know, it, it happens in the real world. And because they uh, recreated this in this fictional show, I'm frustrated by it. I'm frustrated that they're showing it. If you say it's fucking cringe, that's fine. Okay? I'm sure it is. I mean, that sounds very cringe, what he just said there. Most of the time, like, saying sexy things or trying to fucking attempt to do, like, dirty talk on camera is going to come across weird. Okay. <sighs> but ultimately, you're spending a lot of time. You're spending a lot of time, effort, mental space, sanity points on a fictional show that someone wrote and someone directed. Oh. Anyway. You made the main female character have a rape fantasy, which was weird. No, that's not weird, okay? That's not weird. That's, like, I don't know why you think, like, even if it's weird, it doesn't matter. It's fictional, okay? It's fictional. It's fiction. It's fiction. Like, do you watch Hannibal? the TV show and go, it's really odd that they made the main character a fucking cannibal. Okay. It's a story. It's fictional. Sometimes people make these creative liberties. Okay. I don't understand 
Not every lesson is supposed to be good in shows. Not every character that you watch in TV shows is supposed to be the good guy. Okay? I don't understand why people still champion these causes. There was no lesson, though. It doesn't have to, there has, it doesn't have to be a lesson. Bitch, is this a fucking... Is this a lecture? Are you going to school? Why should there be a lesson? Why? Why should there be a lesson? Why should there be a lesson in the show? Oh my God. Of course there's no lesson. Oh my God. Oh my God. Lamau, there, I never said there should be, might be. No, but you're saying, but there's no lesson though, implies that there should be one. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> What happened? I, I, I genuinely think what happened is... Okay. I genuinely think what happened is like every, every Zoomer was trapped indoors. Okay? They got really invested in politics. They started watching me. And they started watching all the shit that was going on in society. And they were like, what the fuck? We got to do something about it. They took to the fucking streets. The protest police brutality. Many of them didn't even do that. They just threw up like the black uh, uh, fist on their on their Instagram accounts and stuff, right? They put BLM in the bio. And then they realized, like, oh, nothing was going to happen. Nancy Pelosi just kneeled with the kente cloth, and then, like, they told everyone to fuck off. And then they realized, oh, we can't do anything about this. We can't make systemic changes. So fuck all the systemic problems. Let me look at the manifestation of systemic problems in art and, like, spend all of my waking moments sanitizing what my perfect content creators are creating and, and why it's not designed specifically for my immediate needs. Okay? That's what happened, I think. Because, like, this makes no sense. There were so many people that were actually fucking upset about real systemic problems. And now it seems like everyone, all everyone on the supposedly leftist or radlib or liberal side, all I hear from them is chirping about dumb nonsensical things that have nothing to do with anything and it's always like masked it's like aesthetics hunting the aesthetics of this don't actually look well to me they don't they're not tailored to my desires my individual selfish desires and i don't like that you're showing bad stuff you're showing bad stuff on a fucking tv show what the fuck that's gross dude are you kidding me how how dare you do that and then you become like purity hunters for some reason but you're not even doing it in like at a, at a systemic level. You're not even focusing on any like real ongoing problems. You know what I mean? You're just directing your anger, attention, frustration on fucking dumbass content creators as you try to like figure out what their own individual politics are because that's what you're more interested in. What these guys actually are thinking inside of their minds. You're not interested in fucking making systemic change at all. You just want to know more about the fucking content creator that you obsess over. And then you turn around and you just like make these broad sweeping claims about how uh, awful it is that this person made this kind of art and that, that this work of fiction is actually unacceptable. And then, you know what you get when that happens? You get the Marvel Cinematic Universe. That's what you get. I don't really understand it. Like, why are you so mad at a critique of a bad TV show? No, don't do this fucking cowardly bullshit. This is not me being mad at a critique of a bad TV show. This is... So much more than that. That is so cowardly for you to... This is a classic fucking Radlib phenomena where it's like, okay, the next up you're going to say, okay, I don't have to like this TV show. As though I ever said that. I told you I didn't watch it. I told you it's fucking cringe. And that's not what I'm talking about. Okay? Don't do that. Don't fucking try to gaslight me. I'm a goddamn 32-year-old adult. I hate it when a fucking young Zoomer just learned about these political subjects and is coming in here and fucking trying to gaslight me on how social progress is supposed to be made or like how I'm actually wrong or I said something I didn't actually fucking say. I'm getting, I'm becoming an old fucking man, okay? Then I become the subject matter and everybody shits on me and then fucking we go back on the cycle over and over again.
I like how this went from I wasn't going to bring this up to chat just being unhinged and saying the same thing as it make you not want to bring it up. Yeah. Stop looking for alternative reasons as to why I'm defending supposedly a piece of art and try to understand where I'm coming from because I'm not defending this art at all, okay? It's, it seems objectively cringe, and I haven't even watched it. What I'm simply stating is getting upset at fictional characters is inconsequential. Getting upset and making that your only political output is fucking ridiculous. That's it. This is literally the Matty Healy shit all fucking over again. Oh. Stop moralizing your consumption. It has nothing to do with anything. Stop moralizing your commodity consumption. Please. People that make furry porn and get angry about a sexually charged show, lol. Holy fuck. What you are, though? No, I'm not. Azan, you're never going to reach people like me with these off-brand takes. But you are, though. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not moralizing content consumption at all. I'm actually talking to a broader audience of young people who are empathetic, who are wasting their fucking time getting mad at dumb shit when they could be more productive. Okay? That's it. 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 I think this might be two different types of brain rot here. You're very politically centric, and these people yapping about the show are gossip centric. They aren't moralizing their consumption on purpose. They're gossiping about a bad show. You're not defending this art. You're defending art as a whole. Tell the Zoomers that being anti-art is fascist. Maybe that will shut them up. No, it won't. It won't shut them up. Why is it that when you don't get something, it's automatically a Zoomer thing? Well, it's because I'm trying to be nice and saying like, oh, it's maybe because you're young and misguided and not because like you're a whole ass adult with whole ass fucking adult experiences and you're behaving in this like incredibly childish way where not you in particular chatter, but the people who do this kind of thing are, you know, heads Mickelson literally ate people for Hannibal. Yeah, that was, uh, that was pretty problematic, pretty problematic. Anyway. It's kind of cringe to think the reasons why maybe people are so engaged with critiquing these TV shows because they can see that it impacts the show and its team as opposed to other issues that require real time and work to change. What? Yeah, no, you're right. You're critiquing these TV shows because you can you saw that it impacts the show and its team. You have a parasocial relationship with the show and its team. You know what happened in the background of the development of the show. You know exactly what's going on. And now you're criticizing a fictional character by, by uh, addressing uh, your assumptions of what happened on the show, in the background of the show. Anyway, oh.
Everyone thinks they're a socialist until the weekend does some art or something. No, that's it. It's just like it. it, it no, you're totally right. As someone who grew up on Tumblr, this era of puritanism is a uh, puritanism and fandom is 100% a Zoomer thing. Being a late 20s person in fandom, I've watched this happen in real time. It's also tied the generational anti-sex movement among Gen Z. Yeah, I think there's a genuine like, uh, there is a genuine pendulum swing in the other direction towards sex work and like expressions of sexuality in the next generation where like there's a lot of fucking people in Gen Z that are just like, they use terms like porn sick and they constantly are like talking about how they, uh, you know, are doing no fap and shit like that. Just be normal is my, is my, uh, response to you guys. Okay. It's very odd. It's very weird. I don't know where the fuck is going on, where it's coming from. I'm not one of those people who's like, Oh yeah, you have to be in a fucking polycule or whatever, but like, God damn, be fucking normal moderation i can't believe i'm a centrist here uh, on this issue but like you know be fucking normal be normal be normal be normal be normal fuck why Joffrey's actor from Game of Thrones wouldn't take another role. Fans were so hateful towards the character he couldn't go anywhere. Yeah. This is you nicely reminding Chad to touch grass. I mean, if you ask everyone in the chat, I'm probably not being nice, but I am trying. I really do want, I really do want people to touch grass. Like it, it will be very helpful for you. It's definitely a good thing. It's not a bad thing at all. 